Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to this space. My name is Katie and I'm super happy to be with you today. Thank you for joining me. Let's hang out, get your tea, your coffee, your water, and you know, let's just dive deep into this tarot and oracle reading. Let's see what spirit has as divine messages for money and finances. Anything related to investments, savings, opportunities, loans, you know, all of that. Usually more focused on the energetic aspect of things, but still sometimes a lot of like very tangible references come in. So get comfy and let's do this. Universe, please bring in the most relevant and important messages on money finances for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please bring in the most accurate predictions on what is to come and the best advice on how to navigate these energies. For Pisces. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different spread here. As I go ahead and set out the cards, I just want to remind you that our Pisces Club and our Pisces As Fuck mug are back in stock. You can go ahead and check that out if you want to get yourself a little treat and support the channel as well, of course. I think I might be um, starting to offer the yearly um, forecast a little bit earlier this year. I've been doing this for many, many years. It's tradition at this point that at the end of every year, you know, I offer the month by month forecast about the other year. But since I started doing those for YouTube, I got <laughs> quite like swamped in a very good way. I'm very grateful. But it was very challenging for me to deliver on time. So I'm thinking maybe I am going to be opening that now and start doing those. That way, for sure, you're going to be able to plan your 2024 with a lot of predictions, a lot of month-by-month -month breakdown on love, health, money, and just really making sure that you can plan ahead. So I'll notify you about that if I come around to get it. Alrighty. Okay, Pisces, you, you're very gifted. You have a lot of talents, things that for other people can be very difficult, are kind of effortless for you. And some of you have grown up with this sense of guilt that is very like deep within you. The owl could be a very powerful reference here. Not only have I seen the owl a lot in the readings that I do, but also in the readings I watch. Because, of course, I love watching tarot readings. Who doesn't, right? <laughs> and the owl has been coming up a lot. I see here that some of you have had this... Almost like innocence uh, threatened. As you grew up, you would go and, you know, just have fun, do the things, enjoy yourself. And you wouldn't be aware of how talented, how beautiful, how powerful, how gifted you were. And a lot of people throughout your life may have made you feel uncomfortable about that for whatever reason. Some of you have diminished your higher power, feeling like that's the right thing to be fair with others. Some of you have played small to be more digestible. Some of you have let time pass you by It's it's a little strange here, Pisces. What Spirit is telling me is that in the realm of money and finances, you have no limits. Especially if you were born on March 4th. 
if you are 38 years old or you're going on to 38 or if you're 51 or going into 51. I'm not going to say you're four years old because that would be weird, but who knows? <laughs> you have no limits. Time for you, for anyone, but like mostly for you, doesn't exist in the way that it does as limitations for other people. You can have finances and money and abundance as you wish. But some of you, because of guilt, you have beaten yourself down to play by the rules of the mortals, is what I just heard. When you have access to everything, anytime. It's like you're sponsored by the universe, Pisces. You know these athletes, right? They're given money and shoes and workout clothes and casual clothes and everything, anything you can think of because the brand wants them to promote the brand, right? <laughs> the universe is your sponsor. God is your sponsor, okay? And there's a warehouse with food and clothing and savings and cash money and cars and homes and travels and um, the ability to hire people, the ability to expand, to create a business. There's somewhere a warehouse that is your sponsorship to you from the universe, from God, that is just waiting and sitting there because maybe you feel like it wouldn't be fair to another person for you to get that. Like, other people have to really struggle, therefore I should struggle. Um, it's like some of you are not claiming the prize. It's like you're sponsored, but you're not doing your part either. Because your part is receiving and then promoting, isn't it? What good is an athlete to the brand if they don't share and represent the brand? So, Pisces... You need to talk about the divine. You know what I mean? Like, you need to be that spokesperson, so to speak. Anything and everything is already in your contract. It, it is already signed. So what is it that you need? Spread the word about the light. What is it that you need? Do you need to travel to different countries and spread the light? Let's do that. Do you need to open a business? Do you need to open a website? Do you need to spread the word? What is it that you need? You got it. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So that is in the past, Pisces, okay? That is the recent past in regards to money and finances. Maybe you were a fool blown sponsored and then some people got annoyed or said something, did something, attacked you somehow and you were like, eh, I don't know, being abundant, prosperous, successful, radically successful, famous, um, it made you scared somehow, Pisces. Or you feel guilty for something and then therefore you don't allow yourself to go and claim all of that abundance. Maybe there is someone that you love that doesn't have a warehouse like that and you want to you know side with them be compassionate with them but by doing that you play small by doing that all those gifts talents opportunities are gathering dust in that warehouse instead of working for the light <clears throat> so detox your friendships in the present moment your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time so be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Yeah. Go the distance, exchanging gifts, and not for you. Okay. Exchanging gifts. Some of you have held on to relationships because of gifts they have given you in the past. 
exchanging gifts. Maybe there's some relationships here that have served their purpose. Take it if it resonates. Now, I don't know, it's like you are more strategic. We do have here this, this like chessboard and this good luck or fortune cookie, better said. The message is no, not for you. And the cookie's in the middle of the chessboard. The game hasn't started. And the message is already, nope. And what that makes me feel is that you are not meant to be in this money, financial system, having constraints and difficulties, finding a way to strategize your way through the mortal world, the muggle world, you know what I mean? It's like, no, you don't belong to the chess game. You don't have to prove yourself worthy. You don't have to figure it out. You get the abundance, you get the prosperity, prosperity, the success, the opportunities, just because you're meant to use all of that to spread the light, to spread love. So as long as you are spreading love, that sponsorship continues. <laughs> okay? But if you're not going to spread love, if you're not going to spread light, spread light, if you're not going to go into that warehouse and get all the things, then, you know, how can the universe help you? I see that some of you, maybe because of conditioning and societal conditioning, you're like, well, everybody has to like really fight for what they have and they have to really like work their ass off and figure things out and, and it's difficult and challenging and there's not enough. And Spirit is telling you, no, that's a game that you don't belong in. Not for you. Nope. That's, that's a game here. A battle that you don't belong in. You already... We're almost given permission to not participate in that particular game. Go the distance. Some of you, you need to go the distance in your projects and goals. Some of you just stop halfway. Some of you get bored real quick. Some of you get detoured. Go to the distance. So go all the way, Pisces. Think outside of this chessboard. How far can you go? How high can you go? How much money can you make? How much noise can you make in the name of the good? How can you change the world? Imagine God or the divine embodied as a person, as an investor. Imagine as if, you know, this person in front of you tells you, how can we make the world a better place? What do you need? I got everything. I have you covered for everything. Do you want to be protected? I got protection for you. In the physical, energetic, emotional, dream world, I got it. What else? Do you want um, cash, capital? You got it. Do you need a place to stay in different countries? Do you want homes all around? You got it. Do you want the money to promote your business? Create a platform? Reach more people? You got it. Do you need the people? You got it. <laughs> Do you need the opportunities? You got it. And you know what I'm being referred to right now is this movie. It's creating a big buzz in The Sound of Freedom. It has for a while. And it's about um, this guy and how he used to work for the US government and he stopped doing that to um, focus on rescuing children from trafficking. And the miracles that that guy has experienced, even like while recording the movie, like the synchronicities, the, the way in which the divine is like, well, what is it that you need? I got it for you. For that guy is super impressive. That could be something that you can research if you like. I think his name is Tim Ballard. Um, it's, it's that same principle, like, what is it that you want to do? How do you want to improve the world? Okay, I got you. This is your warehouse. In that warehouse you have anything and everything you can think of. And see, exchanging gifts. 
You give, and the universe gives. You're exchanging gifts. You give your voice, you give your effort or whatever, you give your mission, and they give you what you need for that mission. And you give them what you can for, you know, it's like a, you know, a cycle there. But there is a need to detox your friendships, and this message is specifically for those, I mean for all of you, obviously, but if you're 27 right now and you're watching this video, this is for you. Detox your friendships. <clears throat> Oof, love it. Okay, so in the near future, you gotta release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Yes. Support and golden opportunities. That's what I'm talking about. So what's the key to open this warehouse? Being happy. Being happy. And having a sincere desire to make the world a better place. But it starts with you. It starts with happiness. With love. And therefore, it translates to forgiveness. Why? Release resentment. Let go of guilt. So it's like if you're keeping yourself away from a state of joy and happiness, there's a reason for that. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason why in some level of you, maybe you feel like you don't deserve happiness. Maybe there's something you need to forgive within yourself. Take it if it resonates. Because I see here keys and I see here locks. Soulmate, happy, happy. And the yang energy. So it's like the happier you are, the healthier you are, the more vibrant you are, the more you have to give. Like an athlete and the sponsorships, what we were talking about. An athlete can't do their best if they don't take care of themselves. So Pisces, what is it that you need to take care of yourself to be happy, to be in that place where you have the mental, emotional, physical, and energetic well-being to fulfill a mission? Instead of asking yourself, how can I get more? Ask yourself, how can I give more? Because it seems like the universe has you covered. It's like you are full sponsored, like 100% sponsored, everything for the rest of your life. As long as you are in a good place to work as an advocate of the divine. So how, and you're, you're even given the free choice of how you want to do that too. So instead of asking, what is it that you're getting? Ask, what is it that you need in order to give? And that's how things are going to come in. So instead of asking the divine, like, hey, I really have to pay these bills, like, I'm stressed out, I really have to make this, that, or the other um, payment, be in the mind frame of saying, okay, God, I want to work for you. I want to be this sponsored athlete of yours, so to speak. But I have this stress. I'm stressing about the bills. I'm stressing about these payments. I know that you can take care of them really easily so please with that sponsorship take care of them because i need to be focusing on what really needs to be um, thought of and you're going to see how everything resolves itself it's going to be mind-blowing for you pisces it is give and then you'll receive how can you better the world pisces Whew. i got kind of like Chills. That was a, this was a good reading. I loved it. It resonates to the core. Comment below if it resonates for you. Comment below if sometimes you feel like things work a little bit that way. Let me know. Um, I remind you of our Pisces Club mug if you would like to get something, something for yourself and support the channel. I invite you to subscribe as well. It takes a second. It will make me smile. <laughs> And also, I want to thank every single one of you who has um, sent super stickers and super thanks at any point in this, cha um, this channel's life. I'm very, very grateful. 
I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye Pisces.